Hi everyone, how you doing? Um, not made a video for quite a while. I've been working on my own creative projects. Um, I've been doing a bit of painting, I've been decorating in the house, uh, I've been doing a bit of writing, um, I've been a busy, busy bee. Um, I haven't been reading any occult type of books, um, but I have been buying occult books. Um, so I've got one or two to show you now. I'm not going to do a, a full on review. Because I like to read the books fully um, to try and give you sort of the best best sort of opinion that I could possibly give. So it's just a very quick sort of look at a handful of my uh, newest newest members to my bookshelves. The first book that I want to look at is this book, Witcher, by. Um, a man called Nathaniel Harris. Now, this is a book on traditional witchcraft um, and Nathaniel being born into a traditional craft family. Okay. Quite a thick little book. Um, there's a picture of Nathaniel on the back. Okay, the blurb reads... Witcher presents many secrets of English witchcraft in plain language, giving details of Widdishans and docile circle casting, spellcraft, divination, spiritism, sabbats and espats, sacrifice, enfigens, philosophy, history and more. The focus is primarily upon those aspects commonly called operative witchcraft of results and getting things done rather than the supposedly more spiritual aspects that have been subject to many books of late. These are illustrated with photographs taken by my stepfather Adrian Bryn Evans detailing with their kind permission and support exhibits from the Museum of Witchcraft in Boss Castle. <coughs> to the disappointment of those seeking a tradition to fall back on when they doubt their own judgment, I have attempted instead to portray an attitude of spiritual freedom central to the craft. Some might even call it the witchcraft of the left-hand path. Nevertheless, members of our family continue to be of service to their community, as those witches were in generations before. Being born into the founding family of the House of the Old Ways, the author officiates within its circle as the fool, or Dada Siddha, I don't think I said that very well. He remains a dedicated solo practitioner, exploring more private disciplines of witchcraft and sorcery. He is also a tattooist, performance artist and illustrator. He lives in East Anglia, England with his par partner Jasmine Deville and daughter Rose. It's an that book. Now, this one I've seen some mixed reviews about. Um, I like to make up my own mind on books, you know. Um, it's got some nice images. That's a cool picture. Um, the contents. Oh, what's that one? That's an interesting picture. I have no idea what that's supposed to be, but it looks good. I like the look of that. It's under the chapter of Magical Praxis. Okay, so we've got sort of in the contents very briefly, chapter one, witchcraft, then dirty work at the crossroads, 
Christ bound, tools of cunning, the pentagram, the docile circle, Widdishin circle, sabbats, witches' runes, the New English rune poem, the sacrament, the sacrifice, the baker's dozen, the power of naming, self-dedication, fairy blood, spelt with a P, wild and secret places, Voices of the Ancestral Dead, Necromancy, The Persecution, uh, Where Sleeping Gods Lie, Magical Praxis, Arranging Coincidence, A Bag of Charms, Spells of Love and Sex, Spells of Persuasion and Control, Spells of healing, of protection, of material gain. Um, spells for success. Um, then we've got Maleficia, the evil eye, divination, automatic writing and drawing. The art of dreaming, elemental spirits and bud wills. I don't know what a bud will is, so I look forward to that. Spirit forms from nothing. Goethe. Familiars, the art of invocation, atavistic sorcery, the call of the horned one, primordial woman, songs of the old religion, and then we've got appendium, which country, bibliography, and there's various photographs with exhibits from, of course, uh, the author's own collection, and of course those from uh, the Museum of Witchcraft down in Boss Castle. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. This one might be um, on my reading list tonight at bedtime. The next book we have is called The Necromancers. Um, this is, I believe, a book of, of essays written by various authors. Um, it says here that the editor here is Peter, is it Peter Haney? So he was the author of the book. Okay, the blurb reads, a spine chilling collection of stories about an art as old and evil as the ages, the black magic. From the 16th century to the present day, contained in this anthology of the occult is a horrifying blend of fact and fiction covering the whole spectrum of black magic and witchcraft. Peter Hayden's sources range through all literature and include virtually unknown pieces by Yeats and Alistair Crowley, essays by Robert Graves, Extracts from Dennis Wheatley, Montague Summers, and E.F. Benson, The Salem Witches, The Black Masses of Louis XVI's Court, yes, sorry, 14th Court, and copies of actual packs with the devil. The result is a fascinated, fascinating presentation of facts, a terrifying collection of fiction. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? This one was found in a, in a charity shop. Um, so I was really pleased with this one. And I think the, uh, the, cover, the cover art is really cool too. You know, so... Um, Okay, just taking a quick look at the contents, we've got section one, modern witchcraft, witchcraft, black magic today, the black lodge, the sacrifice, the sorcerers, a life for a life, section two, the witches sabbat, the Salem mass, the trials of New England witches, um, that was written by Cotton Mather. An Indictment of Witchcraft, The Lancashire Witches, The Midnight Assembly, 
um, the initiation to witchcraft, uh, a pact with the devil. Section three is how to raise a spirit, the black coat of Brandenburg, um, and then it says my experiences in necromances, the necromancer and Gavon's Eve. Section four, the confessions of the witches of Elfdale, the witch finders, the witch baiter, the spell of witchcraft, the spell on witchcraft familiars. The Little Friend, and then Section 5. The Chamber of Ardente Affair. The Tarn of Sacrifice. The Hellfire Clubs. At the Heart of It, and Beezlebub. So, sounds fab, this book. The next book is The Golden Bow. The Bow, Bow, Bow. I don't know how to say that word. I'm, I'm very tongue twisted today. It's probably because I'm thirsty. But anyway, the golden bow, the, the golden bow, I think it is, by J.G. Fraser. Okay, there's a couple of editions of this book. Um, this is the abridged edition. The blurb reads... Sir James Fraser was born in 1854 and died in 1941. He went to the University of Glasgow and Trinity College, Cambridge, where he was elected to a fellowship of his college for life. His classical studies led to the publication of an unnoted edition of Salus, Cataline and Jog Urfa in 1884 and impelled him to begin work on the great edition of <laughs> I can't say these words Pasanias I'm sure somebody will correct me which was to appear 14 years lately approx approximately enough it was through the examination of a perplexing reference to ancient literature that he first established his worldwide fame. In an attempt to unravel two problems posed in the sixth book of the of, of the Aeneid, Aeneid, which was written by Homer, Fraser found himself compelled to explore all those mysteries of religion, magic superstition mythology and primitive custom which are to a varying extent of the heritage of every nation and every living being the golden bow was the result now i have to say half of those words i know that i pronounced wrong so i'm sorry what can i do um i'm just gonna show you the contents on this one um because it's it's there's quite a lot of it you know hopefully i'm gonna leave the sort of pages showing long enough for you to to sort of get the drift So there's that one. I am sorry I slaughtered the last book. Um, <laughs> what can I do? Um, but it really, it, it sounds, and like looking at the contents, it does really look quite interesting. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and having a good laugh at me getting all tongue-tied. 
um, and I hope to see you again soon.